what is going on guys so three days three scx24 gladiator videos i really love this little platform and i've been focused on getting content out to you guys because i know with the new product everyone just wants to see what it's capable of so yesterday's video we installed our first set of mods right we have our brass diff cover uh, we had brass wheel hexes when we're running wheels they don't fit with the tracks and our emac servo today we just got a ton of snow here in northwest indiana so we're gonna do a little snow running on this guy and see how it handles it i did do one additional modification since the video yesterday and instead of going brushless and cutting all this up i decided to just throw an 050 rgt barrage motor in here i know there's some better ones out there now i believe like the torque beast and things like that but um, about six seven months ago i bought like 10 of these from china for a couple bucks a piece so i've got a few of them laying around so i swapped that into this rig a uh, little more torque to turn these tracks in the cold weather and yeah it's uh hopefully it'll perform well and it'll have enough power so for those of you who aren't familiar with these tracks um, i do sell them currently they're out of stock and i apologize to everyone who's been asking about them there's been some delays in shipping of course you know the uh the covid life i guess we can call it but i should be seeing those bearings very soon and have these tracks back in stock on my etsy page uh, i'll put the link in the description below but what we have here is a fully 3D printed track for the SCX24. It bolts right up to the stock axles on the SCX24. They do not work with the um, brass steering knuckles or any other hexes than the stock ones. Um, but yeah, overall they function great. The uh, track is made out of a flexible material that's printed called TPU. And the rest of it is printed out of just a hard plastic or a PLA. And all these little runners are on bearings as well as this main drive cog. So I really enjoy these. I, uh, I spent a good amount of time designing them and I know a ton of you guys have enjoyed them as well. So let's, let's get to it and uh, let's get this thing out in the snow and see how she does. I think it looks excellent with these tracks on here. The long wheelbase really, really avoids it. You know, it doesn't look too monster truck with these tracks on. So let's get it out there and let's see how it handles.
Alrighty, guys. Well, that was a riot getting this thing out in the snow. Um, I had a blast running this thing out in the snow today. We just got like 10 inches of fresh snow yesterday, so we had we had plenty to work with. Um, I really like getting these trucks out in the snow. I mean, something as small as a footprint can be a massive obstacle for one of these. I was really impressed with how it performed on the uphill drifts that we did manage to run up. And just overall, it didn't get stuck all that much. Um, if you get it on too steep of an angle or something like that, it'll start digging itself down. But it definitely holds its own for, uh, for what it is. So thanks again for coming by, guys, and checking out this short video on the Gladiator out in the snow. Um, again, if you enjoy my content, I would absolutely appreciate it if you would subscribe or like the video. But other than that, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you who checked out this video. I had a blast making it, and I will see you soon.